Sir Rod Stewart has turned down one of the biggest paychecks of his career by refusing to perform in Saudi Arabia because of the kingdom's human rights abuses. The star rejected the lucrative deal over its discrimination against women, LGBTQ people and the brutal silencing of its critics. Sir Rod said, I'm grateful that I have a choice whether or not to perform in Saudi Arabia. So many citizens there have extremely limited choices. Women, the LGBTQ community, the press. I'd like my choice not to go. To shine a light on the injustices there and ignite positive change. A source close to the 78-year-old rocker said he has used his moral compass in making the decision. They added, Rod was determined to do the right thing and couldn't accept the offer, no matter how much money was on the table. Some things are more important. Sir Rod previously told how he rejected £1 million to play in Qatar. The singer's team declined to comment on how much he was offered this time around but it's understood the figure was much higher. Same-sex sexual activity is illegal in Saudi Arabia, with the death penalty a possible punishment. There have been consistent reports of discrimination and violence against LGBTQ people in the country, according to Human Rights Watch. Last week was also the five-year anniversary of the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi at Saudi Arabia's consulate in Istanbul, Turkey. Sir Rod told last year how he snubbed an offer to perform in Qatar over its similarly dismal human rights record. He said, I was actually offered a lot of money, over one million dollars, to play there 15 months ago. I turned it down. It's not right to go. And the Iranians should be out too for supplying arms. Tell you what, supporters have got to watch out, haven't they? Sir Rod's stance comes despite other stars performing recently in Saudi Arabia, including Bruno Mars and rapper Iggy Azalea. Many football stars have come under fire for playing in the Saudi league, including former Liverpool player Jordan Henderson. Sir Rod's decision to put the Saudi regime under the spotlight comes after he has previously told the Mirror he was determined to use his knighthood for good. He said last year, I usually keep all my charitable efforts nice and quiet and just do it. But I thought, I am a knight, I have been given this knighthood because of the things I've achieved in my life and the charity work I've done over the years. But that was the past. I want to be seen to be doing something now. I am a knight, I should be using my power to do something for people. I am sure that if there are people out there who see what I am doing, they will pick up some slack too. And Sir Rod was true to his word as we revealed last year how he had started renting a house in Berkshire for a family of seven Ukrainians who had fled the war. As well as paying their bills, he also gave two other refugees jobs at his Essex mansion, including as a gardener and a housekeeper. Sir Rod said that he was spurred into action after watching with wife Penny the horror in Ukraine play out on the evening news. He said at the time, words couldn't describe what we were watching. The bombing of innocent children, the bombing of hospitals and playgrounds. Like everyone else, we were completely beside ourselves. I don't wish that one anyone, this is evil, pure evil. From that moment, he was determined to try to make a difference to people's lives. He added, me and my nephew Warren thought we had better do something and it was his idea. He said, listen, let's get some trucks together, fill them up with supplies and whatever they need. So we got three trucks and a team drove up all the way to Ukraine. It took them a weekend. 
They got all the way to the border and took 16 refugees back to Berlin for safety. Labour MP Chris Bryant MP, chairman of the all-party parliamentary group on Russia, said at the time, this amazing generosity shows what a big-hearted man Rod is. He really is the best of British. When he sang stay with me and you're in my heart, he meant it. Surat also kicked off a campaign to pay for MRI scans for patients, starting at his local NHS hospital, in a bid to help cut waiting lists. He called a live phone in on Sky News with his offer, having just returned from having one himself. Speaking of his big-hearted gesture, Surad said at the time, I hope some other people follow me because I want to prove I am not all mouth and no trousers. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.